Let me see that we have to make the drawing of the pots that we see in front of us. Okay. So the dimensions of this pot are in millimeters. Okay. So some students approach me and ask me to help them with this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here. Yeah. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say new hygrometric standard millimeter and then I say create. Here I'm gonna go for the sketch. Then I say rectangle. Then I choose the drawing plane. This one here, as we could see on our drawing, need to be 90 millimeters. So 90. 90. And the thickness of our rectangle should be 5 millimeters. So 5 millimeters. And it should be 20 millimeters away from the origin. So the axis. So that is 20. That's good. I'm going to go for another rectangle. Okay. Another rectangle, as you can see here. If I can come back. As you can see here, this is the second rectangle. Or oh, on our sketch, this is the second rectangle on our sketch day. So this one needs to be 75. This needs to be 75. So 7, 5 millimeters. And it needs to be, ah, sorry. Let me just do this. And from here up to there, it needs to be uh, 30 millimeter away. So 3 zero. Yeah. Great. So once that is that one is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for another rectangle. Okay, so there here is the other rectangle. So this one here, it needs to have a thickness of 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeters, and from there up to here the radius need to be five zero so fifty that's good okay so once i have that one i'm gonna go for i think a fourth rectangle right so there we go that one goes up to the and that one need to be 40 millimeters so four zero and from here up to the it need to be 16 one six that's good then i'm gonna have this step here up to the and from the up to the it need to be uh, 10 millimeters okay let me show you what i'm talking about that part okay so then i'm gonna come back here now i have everything in uh, perspective the next thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw this small rectangle here okay there and there let me just put the end there and this one here need to be five millimeters so five good and uh, from there to there it need to be at 10 millimeters so one zero good and it need to be three millimeters deep so three that's good so now coming to this one, so this one here needs to be 5 millimeters as well. So 5, good. And from here to there, it needs to be at 15 millimeters. So 1, 5, good. And from there to there, that one needs to be 4, 4, good. Yeah, that's great. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the extra lines that I don't need. I'm going to delete this one. Okay. Then I come here, I delete this one. Okay, there you go. I delete that one. Which one again? Then I'm gonna go for trim. So I'm gonna trim this one. Okay. I trim this one there. Mm, I trim this one here. I trim this one. I trim that one. Okay. I trim this one. Okay, I trim that. I trim this. I trim that one as well. I trim this one as well. I don't need that. So if you see that, just click on it. Okay, go escape. Click on it and say delete. So you're gonna see. Then we trim again. Cancel. It's fine. Escape. Click on it. Delete. Then you trim. There you go. So here, I trim that one as well. So now we have the shape. Oh, I need to remove that one as well. So now we have this shape here. Then I go escape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revolve this 
our shape okay as we're gonna see here we go this is the shape that i'm having that shape thing okay so when i come back here i'm gonna go and 3d model when i'm gonna click on revolve then i want the whole shape yes i want the whole shape to be revolved so this one against which axis uh, let's check the axis yeah i'm gonna select the axis which axis is it y i guess the y axis there you go then i say okay all right so once i have this figure in front of me i'm gonna go and cut the chamfer from here so i come here and then i click the so right click then i choose this one so that's one need to be three millimeters so three millimeters it goes okay all right so anything i'm gonna do now the next thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to draw or to drill these holes here okay so when i come back here i click on there i say new sketch then i go for holes there's my hole and this one here need to be uh 10 millimeters unless i'm mistaken 10 millimeters you check so that's one day need to be 10 millimeters and four of them so from the up to the that need to be 40 so four zero i say okay then i say extrude on 3d model i come back there and then i can say uh, cut it by 30 yeah then i say both sides you can see it's yeah it's going through then i say cut cut so once i have that one i'm gonna come on 3d model then I choose this function, circular pattern. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this hole. Okay. Then I'm gonna choose the axis against which I think it's Y, Y axis. So you can see I'm having six holes, but I need four holes. So I come there, I say four. I say okay. There, there you go. Okay. So once I have that one in place. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna want to make another drawing. Which one? Yeah, a drawing here. Yeah, but I'm gonna create another plane. You go. Which one? Offset plane. Then when I want the drawing, so I'm gonna make an offset of this one. So I'm gonna move it. Let's say up to there. And I say okay. Now I'm gonna come on this plane. Then I say new sketch. All right. Then I'm going to draw a circle. So, no, I don't want it to be on that. I don't know what that is. So, I'm going to just come and make it there. So, that is my circle. And this one here needs to be uh, 6 millimeters as per our sketch. 6 millimeters and from there up to there, it needs to be at 30 millimeters okay so once we have that one in place okay once we have this one in place what we're gonna do is we go on pd model again let's extrude then i'm gonna cut it so this one here let's say uh 80 the other way let's see if it goes through it goes through too much so i'm gonna have to make it 50. yeah up to there which is fine then i'm gonna say cut then i say okay then i'm gonna repeat the same operation that i just did not long ago so i'm gonna go there i click there then i click that hole i'm gonna choose my axis i think it's y axis then i'm gonna have four holes okay around my cylinder okay so i say four and i say okay so once that one is there you can see this is how i needed my drawing to be done i'm gonna remove that one i'm gonna go there and say visibility off okay so now what i can do next is to choose my material okay my material so i'm gonna come here and say uh, maybe gold gold looks nice that's gold okay so if you want you can go for maybe stainless steel Let's go for stainless steel or steel and see how it's gonna be. Stainless steel, or you can go for water. So 
that's one that's water so if you check here look how my drawing looks like it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like see you on the next video bye